Hi guys, welcome to God Morning Cam. I have been crying my eyes out all morning. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> you know, I feel like pain is sometimes God's megaphone. I've heard it said that pain is truly God's megaphone to wake up a spiritually dead world. And that just sounds right to me. I feel like if we didn't have pain, we would never be like, shaken. We would never be, you know, awakened out of our spiritual comas. <laughs> and I, um, I, <clears throat> I don't like pain. I don't like feeling pain. I don't like crying. I don't like feeling terrified. I don't like feeling overwhelmed and stressed out, but sometimes it's a really good wake up call for me. Uh, and so I have to just sort of surrender to the fact that pain is a natural, normal part of being human. And that if I call on the Lord of peace himself, cause he is peace. He is, you know, the all encompassing peace. He is peace itself. So if I call on the Lord of peace that I will receive peace and he never lets me down he really doesn't let me down if I truly crush every idol and don't turn to anything but Jesus he doesn't let me down it's when I try turning to other sources that I get you know confused and disillusioned and lost and start to feel hopeless but when I turn to the source Jesus Christ that's when I get the relief and the comfort that I'm seeking and I get, you know, fed, I get fed. So, um, <clears throat> we live in God's heart. I have to remember that I live in God's heart and God lives in my heart. So we live in each other's hearts and I don't know if that's scriptural, but that's how I feel. <laughs> I feel like I live in his heart and he lives in my heart. And um, that's just beautiful for me to remember. And I heard a story, it was so beautiful, about a woman who lost her keys. She was home, I mean, she was at her dad's house and she lost her keys and she was getting really, really frustrated because she couldn't find the keys to her car. And she really wanted to go, the kids were cranky, it was late, she wanted to get out of there. And she turned to her dad and she said, I think I'm losing my mind. And her little boy turned to her and said, well, mommy, just promise me you won't lose your heart because I live in there. And I thought that was such a beautiful little story because ugh, out of the mouths of babes, we live in God's heart and he's looking after us and he's never going to lose us like we lose our keys or we lose we feel like we're losing our minds or we feel like yeah he's never going to lose us he has us in the palm of his hand and i just really want to remember that today and i want to acknowledge that today and you're probably wondering why i was in tears all morning and i'm going to share that now i was in tears this morning because Look, I did not raise my kids like going to um, going to youth group every week. I I took my kids to church not every single Sunday. Um, we didn't like read the Bible together at home. You know, we didn't pray together as a family. Um, every now and then, I mean, every now and then we would pray together, but it was very rare. And <clears throat> the few times that I tried really hard, diligently, to have like family Bible studies or family prayer time or fi family gatherings, they would always end up in like disaster. And I never could understand why that was happening until I realized it was like spiritual warfare. Literally, it was like Satan was entering into that space every time I tried to create it. And he uh, sabotaged it for me somehow. Like the kids would start laughing and they would laugh uncontrollably and then Billy would get mad at them because they weren't, you know, being respectful. And then 
I would get frustrated and then the kids would lose, you know, um, interest in what we were talking about. And there was one Sunday I remember that went really beautifully. It went really, really beautifully. And I was so grateful and the kids loved it. And then we just weren't consistent, you know? And again, it's like, I was crying because you know, I want obviously salvation for my kids. And I know that it's biblical that um, our whole families will be saved if we get saved, like our family will be saved. And I don't know if that's just our immediate family or our whole family, but you know, I really, obviously they're my babies. And so I pray for their salvation. And um, you know, um, it's not that they, aren't walking with Jesus. It's just that I want them to really have a heart for the Lord. I want them to be able to trust in Jesus as their savior. I want them to be able to not question who their God is. I don't, you know, and they're in a world where they're getting sent so many different messages that it's frightening to me that <clears throat> You know, they may veer off the path or that they may believe another doctrine of some sort. And it scares me. It just scares me because I want salvation for their souls. And um, I, uh, sorry if you hear other stuff going on. I have somebody doing a little something out there. But I am... Um, I'm determined to continue praying for my uh, friends and my family, and um, I am not going to give up, and I'm gonna be diligent about that. And, um, oh, some scripture for today, I almost forgot, <clears throat> but yeah, you guys, just, just pray for me if you can today.